Alrighty guys, so I figured it out. I just want to demonstrate here. So it's tightened in. What it says is to gently push down and then turn counterclockwise. And there we go, we unlocked it. And now we're able to apply air pressure to the container. And then Obviously, it releases, right? So let's pump it up a little bit more so you guys can hear the pressure come out of this little hose. And then I will actually fill this with some water and we're gonna try it out. So how about that? Here we go. Very cool. So, fairly long hose guys you know let me uh, zoom back here so fairly long hose to this thing and I'm gonna rig up um, through these holes here uh, these holes actually have to be popped out and I'll probably drill them out with my drill small drill bit let me show you where they are on the neck of the bottle one here one here I'm gonna pop those out and then I'm gonna rig up a nice strap setup so I can swing this over my back in an emergency. That way it frees up my hands, uh, one hand obviously on the wand, and go from there. So I think that's gonna work out nice. So let's go ahead, fill it with water, and I'll get back to you. All right, I'm only gonna fill it up that much, guys. Let's go ahead and attach the pump again. Okay, nice and snug. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pump this sucker up. That's fairly good. Now I have two liters, it says, in here, full. So let's go ahead and see if you guys can see the pressure. That is fairly good pressure, guys. Hopefully that shows up on camera really well. I'm holding the trigger down max. Continuous. Now I believe you can adjust the stream on this as well. I may be wrong or Yes, there she is That's kind of like the shower head setting I don't know if you can see that proper on the camera. It's kind of a dispersed mist this would be uh, Perfect for showers And I'm sure anybody could rig up some type of um, elastic band or something to hold the trigger while you have a shower which would be kind of important and I what did I do guys I pumped that up about six or seven times and we're still going on some heavy-duty pressure here as you can see as I switch back on the setting on the nozzle that is very 
impressive for something that costs twenty dollars. I don't know about you guys. Now the third thing, well not, I always keep saying the third thing, there's like a thousand uses for this, but look at the cleaning I can do in the sink. And I, if you saw, I did put some baking soda in the mixture, so very lightly uh, diluted some. And that can be used for basically cleaning, cleaning yourself. I went over baking soda quite a bit in prepping uh, because it's uh, one of these wonder things that is inexpensive and does so many applications that it's crazy not to have in your stockpile. So I'm, we're starting to slowly lose pressure as you hear the sound kind of going down guys. Let's check on our water level. We used about half of that two liters so far on about six or seven pushes with the uh, air pressure. Um, pretty decent guys. Pretty damn decent. I gotta say that's pretty damn good. And now we're getting into the piss stream here. We got pretty much nothing going on there. So that's pretty damn impressive. That's almost like a, as long as I take a shower. <laughs> I, I'm in and out, I shower up, I, uh, you know, I wash up. Um, I'm not in there for days and days like some people out there. I know some people just love their showers and they just spend like hours in there and I'm like, what? Well, it's your, your bills. But then again, I could do the same and it wouldn't cost me a whole lot whatsoever. So, Pretty nice little setup. Let's switch it over to the mist mode, which is kind of cool. This is kind of like the shower head mode in my opinion. Right? You guys can see how it's kind of dispersed out like a rainfall. Light, it's very light, but it's spread out instead of the one stream high pressure. And this is pretty sweet, guys. One of these guys will probably for $20, guys, it has so many applications that you don't you don't have to have it. You need to have it as a backup. And like I said in the comments, guys, down below of this video, make sure you tell me what other things you can use this for. You know, small fires, put this stuff, put, put it out with maybe this. Um, not that you want to have any fires. But in an emergency, you don't have a pump or a fire extinguisher or anything, which you should have anyways. You gotta have something going on, guys, right? So, pretty amazing tool for $20. And I may have, you know, I may buy uh, possibly the replacement parts for these, like the pump would maybe fail. Um, at one point and maybe another wand set might might fail it's it all depends what you know how long you abuse this thing or baby it and go from there so anyways I'm pretty sure you could rig up a as, as a shower head above your in your shower compartment you could rig a little bungee cord to hold that straight and then have and obviously be pumped up you could pump it while showering even and you can see it gets stronger and stronger right so yeah um, so you could definitely rig this up to a shower as a shower you could probably get an extension or make your own extension make something pretty decent and uh, lots of friggin' options with this, guys. I would highly recommend these. Um, if you can't get them on Amazon, you can get them at your local hardware stores for sure. And you can probably get them cheaper than what I paid. I paid about $20 for this. So, yeah. I'm just going to modify it and add a little, um, like I said, a little uh, lasso here or a strap so I can throw this on my back uh, easily or over a shoulder and go to town. So see you guys in a bit.